morning. Happy Vlogmas. It is 6.32 in the morning. Good morning. Can I get a large green tea sweetened um, iced, please? Anything else? Do you have a corn muffin? All they had was cranberry muffin. Don't, I'm not really a fan of that. Shoot. I have to turn back onto the highway. I thought I could turn into the parking lot here. <gasps> ah! We good. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, excuse me, car. Oh my god, I'm like not driving good this morning. This is not okay. Good morning. It's around 7 o'clock right now. I am actually volunteering with Feeding Tampa Bay this morning. And I just want to put a little disclaimer. I'm not vlogging this for like clout or like, oh my gosh, look what he's doing. He's such a good person, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm literally vlogging this to bring attention, one, to Feeding Tampa Bay, and two, it's Vlogmas. I'm vlogging my daily life, and this is part of my daily life today. So Feeding Tampa Bay is a great organization here in Tampa. And I also want to put a disclaimer. This is not sponsored or in partnership with them. I'm literally just telling you about the organization. And they're actually feeding over 1 million families in the Tampa Bay region. This holiday season, I wanted to give back to the community, so I chose to volunteer with them. Today, I'm gonna be volunteering at their groceries on the go truck. It's kind of like a grocery store on wheels where families can come and buy things for the holiday season at a super discounted rate. I'm talking like 50 cents, 75 cents, a dollar. Nothing like store prices. So it actually helps feed a ton more families that maybe otherwise would not be able to afford the food in the grocery store. They can come to the truck and buy things super discounted, making sure they have food on their table this holiday season. Another reason I actually chose to volunteer with Feeding Tampa Bay is I feel like the money that gets donated there goes so far. They have a model on their Instagram that shows you kind of where all the money goes, and it shows you just how far even $5 can change somebody's life. $5 is enough to provide a whole entire large side for a family's meal. $15 $15 provides two sides and a dessert, and $50 can provide a whole holiday meal for a family in need. So I feel like the money really goes far there. I feel like they're all about giving back to the community, and so far they've been a really great organization, so I'm super excited to be working with them today. Working with them at the truck, not on this video. I just want to make that clear. They're like not sponsoring this or anything. So yeah, I'm going to be volunteering with them from 7.30 to 11 this morning at their groceries on the go truck, and I also want to put this out there. If you or someone you know in the Tampa Bay region is struggling with food insecurity this holiday season or just generally anytime during the year, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you. And I can also give you some really good resources. I just stopped at Dunkin' real quick before I go over. Got a green tea. It's okay. Wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I'm appreciative for it and it will get me through the morning. I'm gonna go over to their parking lot now, get set up. I don't really know how much I'll be able to vlog inside there. I don't really think they want their volunteers to be like having a camera crew with them, but hopefully I can get a few clips and show you guys the truck. You can literally see bush gardens behind me. I thought this shirt was super appropriate for today. It's a little hard to see because my camera is so zoomed in, but it says, be the change. Always be the change in the world. I think I'm at the right building. Not 100% sure. I'm gonna just walk inside. I've seen a couple other people go in this building? I really don't know. I'm just not sure because the sign says it's the Women's Center. It's around 11.30 right now and I am done with the food truck. I actually just came over to Publix real quick to grab a drink. Let me tell y'all, it was so much fun. It was so rewarding. And we had a lady paint each one of us, every volunteer, a picture. Probably really hard to see on camera, but I can do like insert a picture. That was beyond speed of her. Everyone there was so nice. I actually made a ton of new friends, which was a nice surprise because I don't really have that many friends in Tampa still. It was amazing. The people that come, they either receive a voucher for free food or they get the discounted food if they don't have the voucher. And basically what happens is they get a sheet of paper with everything that's on the truck. And then for each item they put, if they don't want it or they put how many of the items they want, they'll get like 10 oranges, a chicken, some canned goods. And they just put how many and then I would go in there and I put it all in the basket for them, hand it to the next person, they would bag it all up and put it in their car for them. It was like working at a little mini grocery store. It was a really good time. I met a ton of nice people. 